is it? What day is it? Some day. <laughs> hey everyone, quick tutorial as to how to set up something called canned responses in your Google Gmail. Basically what that is is if someone sends you an email and it's a pretty much a repetitive a response, canned responses will save you a lot of time in doing that. Here's what you want to do. First thing you want to go is come up here to the gear for settings, click it, click the word settings itself. Up here on top in the menu you want to come to the third from the end which is labs. Let's click on labs. Yours will probably be down here somewhere near the bottom but find the one that says canned responses just like that. Go ahead and click enable. Once you've done that you want to click save changes up on top. Once you click enable and save changes come on back to your inbox. You're going to click on compose. You'll come here to the little window itself and at the very bottom right the little pull down arrow will say more options. Click on that and there you're going to see canned responses that you've activated. So as you can see here I've got quite a few already put into place. For example I'm going to pick out my students joining on my D9 Tech Club. So this was an email I sent at the beginning of the year for students to join the club and any student that requested that rather than me doing it all, all over again I took this information and I came down here to the arrow again came to canned responses and this email that I have composed I'm going to save as a new canned response. It will come in with a title usually from the subject of the email or you can just change it to whatever you want. You'll click OK and then when you come back here it would be a matter of canned response then you have the list of the canned responses you've got. Now what you may want to do is when you create it is completely delete whatever sign in you have because remember whenever you click compose it will automatically throw your signature on there so you may want to leave that blank. So I'll do that one more time. Compose, canned responses, ones that I've already created, and there you go. So at this point I just find a student, pick the kid's name, and it's got the subject, the whole content of the email. I click send and it's gone. So one more example is if someone wants something taken care of, I've got one created for Mr. Williamson, our technician. So if somebody's asking for some, uh, some tech support, I just click this, put in the recipient's email, click send, and they've got the link for the work order for Mr. Williamson. So as you can see, canned responses comes in very handy for whatever it is you're trying to set up that is a repetitive type email. Hope this helps. Thanks a lot.